and today we're going to be creating i decided to make a, a video intro for mercedes c300 and i will take you along with me to show you behind the scene process what i do and how do i do it's going to be general one uh, it's not going to be too long but uh, what my inspiration is basically my friend uh he's the 3d art artist artist uh, he sent me this footage And in my head, I thought I will recreate it. By the way, you can see the full version in the description below, so you can check it out. It's really nice. The, the way the creator um, made this video, um, it's, it's really nice. It's 3D rendered and it looks real, like real, real. So in my head, it's like, this is gonna be intro for a common uh, Mercedes-Benz C300 review, which is gonna be comparing to the BMW, the 3 Series, because they, they're really compatible. And also, this is German engineering, so it should be fun. With that being said, um, I decided to make it pretty fast and uh, like spend only one day for uh, making this video. So it's not gonna be polished version, but at the end, you're gonna see it uh, what we accomplished, but in the middle, it's going to be the process of how and what I've been using. As for the equipment, I have pretty much all the setup from newer, a slider, um, the head, the tripod head, and the tripod itself, it's, it came from newer, another one uh, from Avila, whatever, V501. I really like it because it does have extendable arm the adjustable control the uh, slider itself it's motorized it have 120 degree uh, rotation for the head if i'm gonna slide it you can see the head is kind of moving left to right it also can do various angles it, it can um, take the camera vertically uh, so straight up uh, which is pretty useful and pretty nice to have it as for the camera uh, I still use an A6600 4K30, but today I'm gonna be shooting in 10, um, 80, 60 frame per second. Um, I don't know, I wanted to have a little bit of control. Uh, we have uh, the control for the slider. I have power bank right there, because this guy right here consumes lots of power, and especially if it's cold outside. Some extra tripods, lights, microphones, and extra head. So uh, pretty much I got everything uh, with that. I'm not gonna talk anymore. We can go straight to the car and get to the point of the video. And you can be involved in the process of what I do and how do I do it. So I uh, hope you will enjoy and I'll see you in a second. So apparently we're looking for the spot that we can record um, and my usual spot this is the parking lot not far away from my house is actually flooded with teslas um that's kind of weird i never seen that before so i thought we can go to the park and uh, find a spot here uh, i hope we can do that i think i found the perfect spot uh which is the parking lot it's not windy because the previous spot was so cold the wind was blasting from the lake and it wasn't fun at all but this particular uh place it's a campground but it's closed particularly like apparently it's closed and it's beautiful okay let's unload and start creating
And finally we're done. I packed up everything. It's in the car. Um, it's really cold outside. I cannot feel my toes and overall I'm just freezing. Before I go in a warm place, let me know in the comments below do you want to see that type of content, uh, type of entertainment? Because I'm not really doing it on, on my channel, which is... I kind of wanted to. I did try it a few times. Uh, the M3 content, uh, the California uh, trip, uh, some other videos like sailing, some B-roll of the footage. Uh, it was fun experience, but uh, it's not getting enough views to just spending so much time on uh, those videos. In any case, uh, like I said, comment below if you want to see more of that type of content, uh, production behind the scene videos, and I'll see you.